I'm Noni and today we're going to be making simmered chicken. It's a Torres Strait Islander traditional dish that we like to have at celebration. So let's get cracking and get on with it. So the first thing we're going to do is we've got the pot up on a really nice high heat, putting your vegetable oil in and then popping your chicken in to give it a bit of colour. And all you want to do is just get yourself a mixer and make sure that you're getting the colour in there. So if you have a look into the pot now, you can start to see the chicken is browning up really nicely already. So getting a bit of colour in there, making sure your pieces are getting those nice crispy colours on the outside before you start putting the rest of your ingredients in. So we've given our chicken a bit of browning, so now we're just going to brown off our onions in the same pot, getting a bit of colour of it. Our ginger and garlic are going in, and so is our lemongrass. So we're just going to give that a bit of a heat, brown them up a bit so that we caramelise the onions, popping our chicken back in, into our bowl, and now we're going to pop in our chilli. So I've got some chilli paste here, pop that into there, and now the next step is putting your soy and also your stock in. Pop it in there because this is going to give you that nice, beautiful saltiness. And this is a, your stock going in. So give that a mix around. So you can see now if you look inside here, you've got some really lovely pictures of the chicken getting all that nice color. So all I'm going to do is put about a cup of water in there and now we're just gonna let that cook away. So we've got our chicken in the pot here. So we're just gonna put our spring onions on the top to add some more flavor in there, some freshness and add our beer to it as well. And then all we wanna do is pop on the lid and let it simmer away. So we've got our vermicelli here. So we're just gonna pop it into our bowl because I've got some boiling water that I've boiled up into the kettle here, pouring it over the top of the vermicelli because that will then sit in there and cook the noodles so before we put it on top. And it doesn't take a long to, to do it at all. It's about three or four minutes and then your vermicelli will be ready to put on top of our simmer chicken. We've had it on nice and medium now. We're pretty much done. We've only got a few minutes to go. So we want to start putting our vermicelli in that we've um, put in the hot water. So you can see here, I've already put it in. So I'm just going to pull it out drain off some of all that liquid that we've got in there. Push that down into the sauce so that the vermicelli sucks up all those beautiful delicious flavors that are in there. And then with our pak choy that we've got here, we're just gonna place it on top with our silver beet because what we wanna do is just steam it on top. So just pop it in there, push it down a little so it gets into some of that sauce. Put your lid back on and then we wanna steam all those vegetables on the top because we want them to still be a little bit crunchy. Okay, so it's all done now. Very excited. Now it's ready to eat time. You can smell the aromas in here. I can't wait to have a taste. And just pour some of that extra sauce on top because you want to have some of that too as well. So here is our simmer chicken ready to taste. I can't wait. It looks so delicious. Beautiful. And it always just, for me, every time I eat simmer chicken, it reminds me of home. 